Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. I am Kareem Clemens. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for following me right here, right now. This is a new episode of Talks of Tea Radio. And I'm so excited to be back after a hiatus summer. And I'm back here in September with all new radio talk. Hope everybody had a great Labor Day. I do know that the heat is kicking so many people's butts. Oh, hey, we have exactly maybe like two more weeks of summer and then it's over. Okay, let me just start off with some breaking news. I do want to say that I just received some information that the first lady of the United States of America, Dr. Jill Biden has tested positive for COVID-19. Now guys, I know we are out of the pandemic and I know that so many people have lost their lives from that devastating era and time. But I can tell you guys, it's still out there it's still out there and social media is saying that she's experiencing only mild symptoms however she will remain at home to get the best care that she can possibly receive also the news has come out that the president has not test positive he tests negative for COVID-19. So I do want to say that prayers are with the first family as the first lady makes a speedy recovery. Okay, next. Now, I don't know what it is, but the, the expression of follow the leader is really, really true. Okay, and in this next story, prime example. If you guys know that there is an event called the Burning Man, and this event takes place somewhere in the desert, okay? The event happened, and then all of a sudden, rain just starts falling down on these people. Now, to some people, they thought that it was great that it was raining, but then when they started seeing it raining nonstop for two days, wow, it left bad intentions, bad memories for some people, perhaps over 70,000 people stuck in the mud. Now, look. I would say this part, and I'm just going to just leave it at that, okay? When you're traveling into something that is no pavement, I'm just saying me. I'm just speaking my mind. When you travel into something where there's no pavement and the ground is soft and, you know, you see rain, and then you know rain and soft mud, well, soft dirt turns into mud. And then it starts raining for 24 hours and then the next 24 hours, that's two days. These people are trapped. They're trapped in mud in a desert. And at some point, they're stuck. They cannot go anywhere. So my suggestion to you guys is that next time, please don't follow the leader. Follow your instincts. Either stay home or make accommodations to your vehicle to support the situation. So like think, think ahead. 
think ahead and make sure you start to, you know, realize that following a leader is definitely going to get you into situations like this, which I do know that one death had happened and a lot of people were just sick and tired of being there. They were stuck. They couldn't get their vehicles out of the mud. And I mean, this is the most that I've seen RVs in one spot. Now, I follow Nomadic Fanatic on YouTube, and I hope he wasn't there. I really hope he wasn't there, which I do know he lives in Arizona, but I hope he wasn't in this part, okay, where all these RVs were stuck and just, just want to get out and go home. I don't even think the event went on. I think the event was canceled, okay? So, yes. So, again, don't follow the leader. Follow your instincts and make sure the next event, hopefully they don't have it out here in the desert or put it somewhere where it's going to be convenient and not overkill, okay? Because I know a lot of people are pissed off. A lot of people RVs are messed up. They definitely, definitely got a wash in the head of them because they got a lot of mud, a lot of people stuck. And I know they are just really frustrated and just want to leave the area and go home and just rest out. All right. So that's on the Burning Man event. I do want to say this i hope everybody had a great labor day i know it's hot i know people are not happy with the weather because at some point they say the summer is supposed to be ending and then they're saying well how is the summer ending when now all these extreme heat in 90s and 100 you know the, the uv index high and just uncomfortable for a lot of people. Look, these days shall come to pass. And before you know it, it's going to be cold. You're going to be wearing a jacket. You're going to be wearing a sweater. And you're going to be saying, oh my God, I really wish it was hot. Nevertheless, just enjoy what we have because it could be worse. All right. All right, guys. Uh, let me just go ahead and run my disclaimer right here, right now. This channel and these videos and podcasts are not meant for children under the age of 13. And we have, we have a word from our sponsors. So I do want to let you guys know that on the Facebook group page that has just recently been changed over the summer, I can tell you that 
we have had numerous changes to this group, which went from the political process to Kareem Clemens YouTube Gaming Club to America Truck Simulator Cross Country and then now Las Vegas Live Slot. Now, I do want to inform the people, the members of the group, that the name of the group changing, the changing name constantly, uh, don't mind that. Like, seriously, don't mind it because it's going to change. It's not like it's permanently, we can have, we have the option to change it. I think what's happening is that the content that is being submitted on there, it has to be like top content for people who are interested. Now, if we don't have people who are interested in the content, then the name is not going to be suitable. So we have to change it. So at some point, you might see the name change again. You might see it stay the same. It's just all about trying to, you know, make content for people to watch. I personally do not run that group. I have a part with it, but I don't run it. I have say so in it, but my final decision is not at hand. I can tell you, I do like the Las Vegas Lot Live, it's just that nobody hasn't posted anything in there. I haven't posted anything in there. When I was playing the political process, when it was the political process, I posted something in the political process. There's a lot of arch archive videos that's there for you guys to see. Uh, this is on the Facebook gaming or the Facebook group page, which is now called Vegas Slot Live. Um, I was I, I I assumed that you know the videos would start coming in for that title. However, I've only seen one video, and I haven't seen anything else. So I received DM asking me, "What's up with the group? Why why is the name changing so many times?" And I'm like, "Well, I don't know. I'm just as shocked as you are okay so moving forward i think i'm going to see if we can come to a resolution on trying to have a game stick and then add content in there you know i honestly like kareem clemens youtube gaming club because that name which I love, okay, was running concurrent or running with conjunction with the YouTube gaming on TST YouTube page. And the TST YouTube page, special thanks and shout out to Daquan Jones for allowing the content of YouTube gaming to be shown on that YouTube page. And I think that's because, you know, at some point I had Kareem in the morning and, you know, all other videos that didn't have anything to do with the YouTube gaming showcased on YouTube, the TST page. And that was games like Grand Theft Auto V, Political Process. Uh, prison architects and also Project High Rise and Project Hospital. Those games brought a lot of fans over to the page and that they love that content. So, without further ado, I'm going to see if I can sit down or have a one on one talk and see if we can come up with a resolution on a permanent name because I do name I do know that the name is going to change 
yet again because there is no content for Vegas Lots. Now, if you want to make content, you can just head over to Vegas Slot, Vegas Live Slots, and you will see our group page, and you can go and become a member and ask for content. Just like Omega Studio News group and Ghetto Kitchen Man group, I encourage anybody who's a member, we have a lot of members, a lot of members in the group. I just don't understand why people don't want to post any content of their own. Like, you can do that. That's why you're in the group. You can share, you can like, you can comment, which we do get a lot of that. However, we don't get a lot of posts and contents from their page, which I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. I mean, people may not want to. You know, they're not really into doing the videos, so they just want to sit back and watch the videos, like, comment, and share. It's all good, you know, but I'm encouraging people to do a little bit more than just that. And that's by, like, posting some content of your own and being creative and also wowing us. That's all I'm asking for. All right, but other than that, it's all good. I'm just, I just wanted to touch on that and just basically let you guys know. So I do want to say shout out to a lot, a lot of people that is watching and also listening on Speaker. That's s p r e a k e r dot com, and also to iHeartRadio. Thank you guys for listening. I do want to say that listening to me on this station, I do know that there are ads. However, those ads literally support the page. I mean, people, you don't have to donate. If you listen and you listen to the ads, there's your donation. Because you listening to me on here would help the page. And it will help me. And also, when you listen to the ads, it will definitely be your part in donating to me. If you don't donate, you know, through other sources or other ways. Listening, liking, sharing is a great way of support for this channel and also for this podcast so thank you guys for listening so special shout out to my best friend carlton boyd and his family thank you guys so much for your support that's miss mary brisbane and anthony boyd and carlton boyd shout out to the boyd and brisbane family shout out to my friend from jersey city michael thomas thank you so much for your support I want to say shout out to my friend John. Also, you know, I actually was looking forward to having John on here, which we will get him up here soon rather than later, because I really, really believe he has a mouth and he has some great, um, you know, ventures, which will actually lead to, you know, some incredible moments. So shout out to him. Shout out to Daquan Jones. Shout out to Al Nicholson. Shout out to Max Moore. Shout out to Jabba Law. Now, listen. I do want to say this. Now, a lot of people really should understand that some of these people has has been following me since day one. Okay, you might see. Daquan Jones, Al Nicholson, and also Jabba Law, who literally take the time out to enhance, update the blog page, update the website. And this is all volunteering. Volunteering. Nobody's getting paid for this. They're doing from their own time. So I do want to apologize that if you don't see 
updated information right there. It's not nobody's fault. I'll take the blame for it, okay? I'll take the blame for it. Everybody else, you might see their name under it. Everybody is a volunteer. Nobody's getting paid for this, okay? They volunteer. And like Medea said, child, if you like it, I love it. So especially thanks to Jabba Law. Also, especially thanks to Princess Diamond. Okay. And if I missed anybody out there, especially thanks to you. I do want to say that if you feel like you want your name out there and you want a shout out, then hit me up. Let me know what's good. That's what I always say. All right. So moving forward, I do know that there are talks in the works of GTA 6. I don't want to put it out there, but I do know that a lot has been leaked and it is good, juicy, but I'm not going to put my hopes on any of that that I've seen because who's to say that what we see is what we're going to get? Yes, I said that right. Who's to say what we see is what we're going to get? So me, myself and I, this is just my opinion. I don't really think that it's going to be that good. I mean, if it's literally, if if that's what GTA 6 is going to be all about. I don't know if you guys seen the trailer video on YouTube. But if that is what GTA 6 is going to look like, I guarantee you the first day that it hits on sale is going to be sold out. Remember the PS5 that went on the market and next thing you know, it was sold out like hotcakes? When GTA 6 hit the showcase, I guarantee you it is going to sell out. And I'm going to be one of them. <laughs> I'm definitely going to be. I am a Grand Theft Auto lover. Uh, been playing Grand Theft Auto since it's, it's been, it came out. Uh, but this one here, GTA 6, if it is what it is and what we've seen in the trailers, I tell you, it is going to be a killer. Is, is that the right word? It's going to be amazing. Because when they start to do the whole, I, I'm not even, I, I'm not going to even worry about that content. I'm 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 just going to be so excited when I see the the role play that the men and women are going to do when it comes to the LSPDFR. Now what that is, the when when people make mods and they integrate it in the game to where their character could become a police officer, uh EMT, a firefighter, uh, work for the sheriff, deputy, the uh, Los Santos crime unit, uh, just so many like real life, you can integrate it in a game and make it happen. So when GTA 6 come out, it is going to be crazy. No, use that word. It's going to be a killing <laughs> when these mods are in place there. Because I'm telling you, you guys got to go up on YouTube and watch the trailer for GTA 6. And when you see it and your mouth is wide open and you're like, oh, Lord, it's a fire. OK, uh, you're going to be like, oh, wow, I'm going to I need this game. I would like to play this game. And for those who never was a fan of GTA 5 or Vice City or, you know, San Andreas. When GTA 6 come out, you guys are going to love it. Rockstar has come a long way when it comes to the games like this. You know, they try to satisfy their fans by doing so much and putting so much into, like, compact. I can tell you that game alone is probably going to go over when you download this. I can tell you the GTA 5, if I can, if I remember 
or recall when I downloaded on Steam, I think, I'm not sure, but I think it used over 50 to maybe 60 gigabytes when you're loading it. And okay, when you load it, when you download it off of the Steam Workshop, I'm pretty sure it used over 50 to 60 gigabytes. Okay, so yes, imagine what GTA 6 is going to bring to the table. I don't know how much that game is going to go for. I, I can say when I paid for GTA 5, I would have to look into the um, archive. I think I paid like over $50 for it. I think it was like $49.99 or maybe it could have been $60. But I can tell you, it's worth it. It is worth it, it's worth it, it's worth it. And let me also remind you guys that you can also play online. Now, there are some pros and cons when it comes to the GTA 5 or just GTA 5 in general. I mean, GTA World in general. I just don't like the fact that, now this is just me, myself, and I opinion, and then I'll, I'll just go off of that. I don't like that the fact that if you play online, you can't really play with someone. Like if you're on Steam, and that's the PC version, someone who is on PS5 or Xbox One or, you know, any other device and they're playing GTA 5 uh, and they're online, it's not like I can see them. I, it's not like I can go there and join with them. Because it's a different console, it's a different set. Same game, but it's just different. Now, if they had a PC and they was playing GTA 5 or GTA and they were online, then bada bing, bada boom. You know? But it's not like that. So I would like to see. And you know, I think I actually. Um, I think I was actually educating myself when it came to this whole five server thing, because I learned that when uh, everybody was trying to get into the whole, you know, when they actually increased the dynamics and role play online, because it's not just you play as an officer, you know, you play as civilians, people play do a lot of role playing. You know, role playing when it comes to games, you know. A lot of people have made it possible for some people. And I believe that uh, the five server, I think that's something that I literally have to read into. I've, I've read a little bit of it. Uh, I just have to get into the nitty gritty and then I have to report back on it. But I would like to see... Uh, Everybody, if it's possible, which I know it's not going to be possible because the server will like crash like crazy, uh, playing, you know, with them online. Now, that's this is just online. I figure you have the internet connection. This is what I thought in the beginning. I thought anybody who had a GTA 5 uh, online, I can literally play with someone who is on Xbox One or PS5 online. That's not the case. It's not going to happen. You know, they have to be on the same device that you're on. So PC with PC, PS5 with PS5, or Xbox One with Xbox One. That's how, that's how they see it. So I'm just saying. But nevertheless, when GTA 6 makes its breakthrough, okay, and its approach, okay, soon rather than later, I should say later rather than soon. <laughs> Everybody's going to be flocking to their nearest game store to buy GTA 6. And I'm going to be one of them. All right. So I just can't wait until GTA 6 come out. And that's new GTA 6. All right, guys. Uh, I do want to say thank you guys so much. I'm going to keep this short and simple. For more information, you guys can visit the blog page. I'm Corinne Clemens. Have a good one. Thank you for listening to Talk Show T Radio. Holla.